Well, this is a little out of the ordinary for us, but Allie's happy because it's freezing freaking cold and quiet as the grave. We're back, my friends, in gorgeous, kind of snowy Nevada City, California, doing something that we often do, checking out an old pioneer cemetery. Allie loves snow, she loves Nevada City, and she loves graveyards. And I, of course, love history, any kind of history, anywhere. So a historic, snowy hilltop silent graveyard on top of a mountain nestled among the pines it just seems like the right place for us to be Ooh, look at this fallen headstone over here for a george hinch maybe maybe it's because it's christmas next week but i read that at first as grinch i thought oh no the poor grinch all that hard trouble finally got him. Actually, speaking of Christmas, that is actually the whole reason we're up here because down below us in the old Victorian mining town of Nevada City, on certain select nights throughout the winter, they have an event called Victorian Christmas. And for years, Allie's been begging me to go. Okay, what happens at Victorian Christmas? It's so fun. They have hot <laughs> chocolate. You can go into the little church and they have crafts for sale. They have chestnuts on an open fire. It's so cute. Seriously, since I first knew her, she's been trying to sell me on Victorian Christmas. But I am a Southern California boy through and through and snow terrifies me. Snow and ice on the roads. Don't get me wrong, I've got plenty of family in Canada, so I've been in the winter up there. And you know, I've been in snow and ice before. I've been in a couple sleet storms and blizzards over the years, which is the reason I'm terrified to drive in the snow. So I've resisted as long as I could, but with her upcoming surgery, ah, she suckered me into this. See, for me, the snow is something to be scared of. For Allie, the snow is a playground. Hey! Oh no, you didn't. Revenge! Vendetta! Vendetta! Woo, careful not to hit the graves. Although, I think these people miss snowball fights. John Schmidt was probably a fine snowball fighter in his day. But old Schmidty's snowball fighting days are over now. He's done his duty. And now he's gone home to sleep well. And I know that, because look what it says right here. Sleeping well. Anyway, tonight's the night I finally see Victorian Christmas for myself. Maybe it's because I'm thinking Victorian and I'm thinking Christmas. Or maybe just because I'm in a snowy cemetery. All I can think of now is a Christmas carol. You know, like the ending where Scrooge is with the last spirit. Oh, spirit, please tell me that's not my grave. I can change. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Oh, thank goodness it's not my name. Whew, that was lucky. Now I don't have to buy the prize Christmas goose. Oh, just kidding. I'll buy you Christmas goose. Whew, all right. Well, now that we've played around in the snow a little bit and paid our respects to the pioneering men and women of Nevada City's past. I think it's about time we found some coffee. All right, I'm gonna head down into town now. I think the snow is starting to turn into little sprinkly rain. I think I'd rather have snow than rain. Oh, finally we've got love and a good cup of coffee. I think I'm gonna buy these two and put them on the ceiling right above our bed. You know, new year, new look. Ooh, now I know Allie's happy. Look at that. Gluten. All right, we better get out of here for the moment. They're about to clear the streets of cars and block everything off for Victorian Christmas proper. If it even happens now, actually, because we just saw this sign that this business just put up. We're not sure yet if it's just for this business or for the whole town. Uh-oh. Well, one of the shop owners told us that they're coming door to door being like, oh, we're canceling it. We're not doing Victorian Christmas, but the internet still says rain or shine or snow or clear or whatever. And I know for a fact the hotels in town are full of people expecting to be out here tonight, so. Looks like we're going to get a lot of snow tonight. I can't think why else they would be doing this. Well, no matter what happens, at least we've still got the little market here with wild game jerky, check it out. 35 exotic flavors, high in protein. Oh boy, poor Allie. All she wanted for years was Victorian Christmas. We're still gonna walk down here later and try to see whatever we can see. But as for Victorian Christmas proper, well, the future 
is a big question mark. I mean, this church says they're gonna be open tonight. A couple of other businesses told us that. Some people that we saw walking down the street saying Merry Christmas to us said they're gonna be out here. So we're gonna give it our best shot. Well, you can see up there on the mountain, the snow is coming in. The high peaks are already covered, which is why no matter what happens, either way, we've gotta bounce right now and head back to our or, well, tonight's abode. Because we want to make sure with the storm coming in that we're well settled and parked before it starts falling. Plus, check it out. Got the spot right next to the cottage, which is almost level with the road. They warned us when we checked in here that they don't plow the driveway. So we just want to make sure our little two-wheel drive wienermobile doesn't get stuck here. All right, let's head in. Ooh, it keeps snowing and raining and then snowing again. We've got this nice little oasis to stay in and matching slippers to keep the feet warm. They make them for the little store right here in town. A little early Christmas present for Allie. How are they so far, Al? They're so soft and comfy. So soft and comfy. I might never leave, so I never have to wear <laughs> real shoes again. So the storm can't make up its mind. It keeps changing between snow and sleet and just plain old regular freezing cold rain. And we found out a little bit more. That is why they canceled Victorian Christmas. At least officially, but like I said, everybody in town, even on the internet, they're leaving comments on the Chamber of Commerce thing that they're gonna go down there and sing some renegade carols. We might end up being part of the first rebel Victorian Christmas. Right on. Pound it. Rebels. I definitely like staying at little motels that have a microwave or some form of cooking area that makes it 100% easier to eat gluten-free if you have celiac disease like me. Hey, that's poetry. By the way, you know how we found out about this cute little cottage? It was recommended to us by a good friend of ours who's staying just two cabins down. He's a real snowbird. And I know what you're thinking. Don't snowbirds usually go away from the snow in the winter? Well, they do when they're not an actual bird who likes the snow. Hey, Julio. How's it going, buddy? Ooh, the power's off in your cabin? Yeah, that does sound cold. It's all right, buddy. You can bunk in our cabin. Yeah, that's better for us anyways. He can guard the cabin while we're away. Woo-wee! Well, it's freezing cold, but so far, it's not snowing anymore. It's just pouring rain, which is just the worst. Oh, look at that. That's a cute house. And look at this horse. Oh, hitching post. Awesome. Well, the important thing is, we're having an adventure. That's it. I take back all the complaints I ever had about snow. <laughs> I would trade them all now. I've realized rain is worse. Rain is much worse. Woo! Oh yeah. Adventure is out there. <laughs> a 15 minute walk sounded like no big deal. But uh, when it's 30 degrees and raining, it's more miserable than you'd expect. I know people who live in Alaska, whatever, will be laughing, but we're used to 70 degrees all year round. All right, time for the scary bridge now. Some of you will no doubt remember that I'm terrified of heights. Not really so much heights. Heights really don't bother me. It's the idea that I might plummet from them. Definitely one of my least favorite things. Well, this bridge is uh, scarier than expected. You'll see what I mean. Look at this. Holy crab apples. Look at the size of that drop. Woo! No one's out in this weather, so no one would hear your scream. Okay, let's keep going. There's only one way to get across a terrifying bridge, and that's to look straight and ignore the chasm. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, ignoring, ignoring, ignoring. Woo! Finally, just a little wet. We really need to invest in rubber pants. Look how cute this town is, though. That's the one bonus. I mean, everywhere you look are beautiful Victorian buildings and Christmas lights. Plus, at least Allie is happy. I mean, not as happy as she would be if the real Victorian Christmas was happening. But it looks like there are a lot of people out on the streets, which means that rebel Victorian Christmas is in full swing. Look at this right here. Mark Twain? Normally the way I understand it is there's all these easy ups and tents and booths and things in the middle of the street, everything's blocked off. There's the smell of roasted chestnuts. But as you can see, that is not the case tonight. And what you can't see is the freezing cold wind that keeps blasting us in the face like Allie's shielding herself. She's under a roof, but she's still using her umbrella. Oh well. I must say, at least there are still parts of it 
that look really, really pretty. Even if it feels kind of miserable. We keep trying to shelter ourselves at every opportunity under every awning. We're trying to make our way towards the church because earlier the good Christians of the town told us that it would be open. So we're hoping to, uh, to seek sanctuary. Let's just hope those Methodists don't let us down. Oh, I think we're in luck. The Methodists still believe in Victorian Christmas. Go, Allie. You can make it. Yes. No, no, no. Seek shelter in the cubby. Woohoo! It doesn't look like anything, but that wind is fierce. It just keeps whipping up and then going away, whipping up, going away. How you doing, Allie? Are you okay? I'm frozen. It's normally more fun than this. I can't <laughs> even move my lips, really. Well, at least it's an adventure, right? Yeah. You love adventure. I do. Just usually you're more of a fan of comfortable adventures. All right, I think the squalls have stopped for the moment. Look at this. Craft fair this way. Bring on the Methodism. Oh, all right. Well, I guess it's worth it to be out of the weather, even if you do have to wear a mask. I forgot California started a mask mandate all over again. It's supposed to start today. Boo. Ooh. Oh, that is so much better. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. Bake sale stuff. <gasps> Soup. Alley's in heaven. So this is what Victorian Christmas normally looks like, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. yeah, I took that shot out of here. Oh, these are your pictures. Yeah, they're all, uh, 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 um, took it out of this window down the street. Then I went down to the National Hotel and took this one coming up the street. Ah, <laughs> see, that's what we were expecting today. Not so much rain. Yeah, Not so much rain. <laughs> Look at that little miniature church for sale. Allie's taking it. She's taking some pictures, the cabin. It's Allie's Christmas. Look at all of these. This is so neat. So many actually handmade things. And all of them are so nice, or as Allie would say, so cute and cozy. All except for one. This one I don't like. Wee, 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 wee. Just realized we're going to have to carry all this stuff back on our two mile walk, or one mile walk, or half mile walk, however many miles it was. So we're going to get Taste of the Wild. We're going to buy one of these bags here. Thank goodness they have these. I think we're pretty much buying the whole place. Look at these are for the mantle. That's because we've been in here for like, I don't know, a while now. And not that many people are coming in. Not to mention all the stuff in here is handmade by the people from the church who are sitting there chatting with us and being friendly. So we're getting a few things. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh, no. Allie found the jewelry section. She's already got earrings, dangly ones. Well, we got quite a lot of stuff. The power started flickering, but it came back on. And it looks like things may have calmed down, so that's good. And I just realized I'm still wearing the mask. It's gonna be hard to get used to again. But yes, yes, I get it. Not as hard to get used to as death. Oh, oh yeah, when the squalls stop and you don't have the crazy gusts, it's pretty nice. But the other thing is, at least when the squalls are happening, you get mostly big flakes of snow instead of the rain. So, it's always something. I love old mining towns and history, but I must admit to you that things have gotten a little more granola in Nevada City than they used to be. Or as my uncle, who just recently passed away and used to live up here, once told me, it's gotten all San francisco up here now. Oh man, the wind is back. It's still all right though. There's still plenty to love about this place if you're not into that stuff. And if you are into that stuff, well, extra bonus. There's a lot of healing crystals up here now, if you know what I mean. The cool part is a lot of the shops are actually still open. The bad part is, for us anyway, is that uh, we're not really interested in what a lot of these new shops have on offer. Lots of llama products and Buddhist statues. Whoa, are you okay? And I don't think Allie's become a Buddhist, although she might get pretty dang wet tonight. There we go. She fixed it. She fixed it. Woo! I just kind of want to run down the street. Like, Merry Christmas, Potter! Merry Christmas, you old building and load! Merry Christmas, Buddha! Where, where's my wife? Where's Mary? Where's Mary? Where's Mary? I don't know you. Clarence! Clarence, do you hear me? I want my Southern California weather back. <laughs> I want my Southern California weather back. Merry Christmas, hello. I don't know if you guys can see that. Completely sideways, the sideways gusts with the big flecks of snow and ice in them. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a night we'll never forget. Let's put it that way. Look at see. We got, uh, what do we got? We got Byzantine angels. We got Buddha holding baby Jesus in there. 
snowflakes and Santa and Christmas villages and creepy deer. Window shopping is still fun. It was more fun earlier when it was much warmer, but it's, it's still fun. All right, I think what we're gonna do is try to find somewhere we can thaw out and warm up our hands for a little while. Maybe find a warm beverage. But first, listen, carolers. You know, suddenly, I don't mind the cold, I don't mind the rain, I don't mind the missing boots, I don't mind anything. Life is beautiful, and I just feel so grateful. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. I love you. Merry Christmas. I never thought my eyes would get so sweaty with respect right near Fred's Szechuan restaurant. Look at this, though. Look what Ali found. For five people, add gluten happy family under the, the gluten special. What does that even mean? I don't know. I think it means I can't eat it. They added extra gluten. Maybe. It actually says Kung Pao gluten. I'd love to Kung Pao all the gluten in the world. <laughs> they might have meant gluten free, but we'll never know. Also, is Fred Irish? <laughs> Fred's an Irish Szechuan chef? Who is Fred? <laughs> Ali suggested that we head inside the old mine shaft for some draft beers, but uh, doesn't really look like Ali's kind of place. However, we might consider, if it's open, heading into the newly restored National Hotel and their bar. Where it looks like someone's actually singing outside. Look at this. It's actually snowing. That's snow up there. Finally, it's not just rain. Oh, it's glorious. I forgot snow is also wet. Let's get out of here. Woo! That's better. Under the awning at the, I think it's called the National Exchange Hotel. It's got a longer name than just the National. But I believe the bar is the National Bar. And we just might be able to get some warm food and drink. And if they don't have cookies and cocoa, we just might down some whiskey. It's that kind of night out here. Dude, look at this place. It is absolutely gorgeous. And just kidding, by the way. We're actually ordering Ali some food and me some carpaccio. And since there's none outside, they even have hot chocolate. That's what we came to the bar to order. Hot chocolate. Ooh, Ali got a Sprite first. I was just telling Ali, this will be fun in a memory, yeah. right? Like, it's not that much fun now. Mm -hmm. Like, it'll seem fun when we remember. Like, remember, it was all rainy. But right now, you got to admit, kind of a bummer. Like, the weather, I mean, outside. Yeah. But, you know, it'll be fun, like, afterwards. We'll be like, that was so yeah. fun. It'll be a good memory. Yeah, a good memory. Sometimes you got to live by the motto, do it for the memory. When I'm sitting in bed after my surgery, I'll be wishing I was here in the cold rain. Exactly. All right. Well, one French onion soup, a couple of hot cocos, and a Sprite later. And we're ready to head back in the cold. But look what they give you. They give you a little Victorian postcard. That's nice. Okay, well, this is kind of weird, but it looks like everybody kind of gave up. The snow, rain, snow, rain, snow, rain, pretty much settled into just rain. And rain is always hard to see on camera, but it's a lot of rain. It's very windy, frozen, cold rain, and the wind keeps changing directions. Like, even under this thing, Allie has got her umbrella, because it keeps shifting, right? It keeps. Ooh, I'm stuttering and shivering. I think that, and between all the people that came and see no booths and nothing going on, all the locals were like, well, guess it ain't happening tonight. So they had a little bit of a rebel Victorian Christmas. We had some hymns, and we had some Christmas carols, and we had the Methodists out there providing us with crafts, and poor Allie's been carrying around this trash bag all night, keeping the crafts dry. So I mean, we at least kind of did it, but mostly now it's just very wet outside and very, very cold. Like even with lots of Under Armour and everything, it's really, really cold. It's funny because in France, 
all those trips we've been on, it's much colder temperature-wise than this. But this is that freezing, friggin' knife-edge wind and rain that just, ooh, soaks you. So I think as beautiful as it is out here in Nevada City at night in the freezing cold winter rain, it might be time to call it a night and go hang out with Julio. Normally I like to uh, keep you guys in the loop no matter how cold and miserable it is, no matter how much we need to pull out our swords and do battle. But it is so freezing cold. I'd like to put my hands in my pocket, so I think we'll meet you back on Piety Hill. By the way, how much does this look like young Brad Pitt? Weird. Come on, Allie. We gotta stop window shopping. Even at Toad Hall Books over here. Time to head back to the cabin. I think for the night, Victorian Christmas is over. Oh my gosh. Too wet. Too wet. So cold and wet. Oh, I thought I would at least film some of this walk. But it was longer and colder and wetter than I thought. My hands are so numb. I can't feel them. But the good news is, I had a long, horrible, long last. It is over. Whoo! Ah, all the rain's starting to freeze. Darn you, Julio. Looking all warm and cozy. Quit laughing at us. Oh. oh my goodness. That feels so much better. Pajama pants, slippers, and hot cocoa. Oh, I have just enough wrist strength I finally gained. Ooh, almost left out without pain. Yeah, that is hot. Are you okay? You look so tired now. I am. That was a hard schlog. That walk was crazy. You looked like you were gonna freeze. The problem is, is it's not that far. It's like half a mile or a mile, something like that. But it's all uphill. So I mean, it feels longer than it is, especially with the cold in your face. The problem is that Allie walks really slow and the colder you get, the slower you walk. And I was behind you like, okay, I could have, I wish I could have like pushed you on a, on a cart, you know, or just got a dolly and just pushed you up the hill. Mm -hmm. And it was very cold. Very cold. But we did it. Kind of. I mean, I took you to Victoria and Christmas. I held up my end of the bargain. It's not my fault they canceled it, you know. No. Even though it didn't even end up snowing. <laughs> I mean, it was snowing, but it ended up yeah. mostly just being freezing rain. Yeah, it was cold. <laughs> it's still raining right now. I could just see rain on the car. Like oh, yeah. a little bit of it is freezing and then it'll, it'll unfreeze because it's all wet. So instead of being snowed in, it looks like we're just going to face a little bit of rain. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's really coming down out there. It is really raining now and it's really cold. It's just we were expecting it to be a little more like The Shining. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just a little snowier. Anyway, what's for dinner, Julio? <gasps> That's a great idea. Chicken sounds delicious. All right, guys, we've done our duty. Make sure to check out all the sick merch at store.randomland.com. And you'll have done your duty, too. You can go home and sleep well. You think the snow is fun now? Think, the, think that the cold is cool? It's nice to look at. You think doing cold is cool? If all your friends were hanging out in the cold, would you hang out in the cold too? Cold isn't cool. Don't do cold, kids. Be warm.
Thank you. Thank you.